Well, here she is, folks, the savior. She was our big savior. She came and saved us last night. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and uh, it's five thrift store Friday, baby. <laughs> and I'm having some car problems. So the car ended up uh, not starting last night. We had to leave it in the parking lot of the Market Street grocery store. And the Gigi had to come to our rescue and pick us up. So uh, anyway, I'm here this morning and uh, there's a place called Driver's Edge. They're gonna see if they, there's, it's like a garage next door here. They're gonna see if they can help me out. And we're gonna try jumping it, even though I did try jumping it last night and it didn't work, but they said they got this battery booster. So hopefully we can get the show on the road here, folks. Here she is, folks, the savior. She was our big savior. She came and saved us last night. She saved us this morning, brought me over here to the, uh, what's this place called? Driver's Edge. Driver's Edge, yeah. So it turns out it is just the battery. We were able to get it started over there and bring it over here, so they're gonna replace it. And we'll be starting our uh, five thrift store Friday Whoa. in about an hour. All right, my friends, we are here, finally. It's uh, like 9.40, so I'm 40 minutes behind what I'm normally here at, the time I'm normally here at. But hey, you know what? It doesn't matter, we're gonna have a good day. I know it, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And that, uh, that Carson was here yesterday. He got the drop on me and he scored a Godzilla. He scored a Godzilla. I'll throw a picture of up here on the screen. He scored this Godzilla yesterday, but that was like, I don't know, four o'clock in the afternoon or something like that, five o'clock. So I'm hoping maybe they put some new stuff out. Let's see what they got. Oh, well, we got some comics here. Star Wars, Darth Vader in command. We got Green Arrow, The Unwritten. Yeah, we got some die casts, we got some Wreck-It Ralph, some video games. All right, well, let's see what we can find. Oh yeah, here's all those uh, dinosaurs. <clears throat> Yesterday, Godzilla was sitting right here with all these suckers. So, oh, look at this, we got a <clears throat> G.I. Joe Sigma-6. That's cool, I'll probably grab him. I wonder what they want for him. Oh, they don't have a sticker on him, which means they won't. Oh, what's it? A uh, four ninety nine? What? That's crazy. Oh, look at this guy. This is GI Joe, United States Army. <clears throat> Probably grab him too. Well, check out this Spider Man. He's kind of funky looking. Never seen one like that. I'll have to put him in the cart. And look him up. Let's get the rest of these Joes in here too. I'll make a decision on these later. $4.99 for that. That's ridiculous. What's this? It's like a shark. I guess he probably lights up. I can see his eyes are kind of clear. Like they would be like they would light up like red or something. It's kind of a cool looking shark though. Speaking of Joes and army men, here's a bag of army men. 55 piece military place. What the heck? <laughs> Man, what's this thing here? Millennium Falcon and X Wing fighter set. Paper model kits. That's cool. Not anything I want, but that's cool. Oh, yeah, look at all that. Oh, look at this duck. Pirates of the Quackabean. It's like a Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> look at that. All right, let's put him in the cart. We'll check on him. Right, we got some sort of light up sword here. Doesn't stay lit very long, does it? Maybe. Cool, we got a surface to air gun. Uh, 
That would be cool for some Joe's long range cannon. All right, well, we got us some vintage 90s in the house. This is a 1997 Toy Biz Cosmic Spider-Man. Looks like he's kind of, looks like his joints are kind of coming apart right there. But uh, I'm going to grab him, man. I think he's kind of cool. I've never seen one like him. And one just recently sold for like 15 bucks plus shipping. So let's grab this dude. Oh, check out this tank. Soldier Force tank. It's got the battering ram here in the front. That's pretty cool. Oh, check this out. I had one of these when I was a kid. I actually have a vintage one of these at the house. I don't know if this one's vintage or not. It could be. I haven't seen these in a long time. It's made by Cahoots Toys. Waterfalls Cahoots. It doesn't say. It doesn't have a year on it, though. What do they want for that? Five bucks. Who did the pricing this week? These prices are ridiculous. What do we got here on the cart? Jurassic World. He's got a uh, kind of a strange color. He doesn't have any real details to him. I wonder if he's an older one. Let's see, what's it say here on the bottom? Can we zoom in? 2015. Yeah, I mean, look at this crazy pricing. This thing right here, $8.99. That thing's like, look, it's even all like inflated, or I'm sorry, deflated, like right here. So $9 for this, this is like, this is like a $1.99 toy. Oh, check out this uh, Fisher Price Castle play set. Oh, that's cool. The door's open. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty neat. All right, y'all. I got my haul. I put the, uh, you know, that Waterfalls uh, by Cahoots Toys, a little water game put it back on the shelf I just couldn't quite determine whether or not it was vintage the plastic kind of looked like it might have been a reproduction I don't know though but I left it on the shelf plus they wanted five bucks for it and that's about all it's really worth anyway and I already have one of those at the house that time Keith and I or the time Keith found all of those toy biz toys one of those games was in there. The time that he found the big haul and then I bought it. <laughs> um, one of those was in there. Oh look, the seats are still down in the back. I gotta, I gotta put the seats up. So, all right, let's, let's do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we got the 1997 Toy Biz Cosmic Spider-Man. I thought he was pretty cool. I like his cosmic suit. But uh, yeah, I've never even heard of this Spider-Man. So I saw him on the shelves and it just kind of grabbed my eye. And I looked on the bottom and lo and behold, he was a 1997 Toy Biz toy. I'm like, all right, I got to rescue him. He's vintage. And speaking of vintage, we got some more. We got a 1996 Hasbro G.I. Joe property of the United States Army. What's it say? Fort Benning, Georgia on his chest. So I thought he was pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this is Duke, from what I can tell. But yeah, yeah he's, uh, you know, obviously missing a lot of accessories, no boots, he has no weapons and stuff like that, but I'm sure I'll find a good spot for him on the shelf. And speaking of G.I. Joe, we got some more. We got a uh, G.I. Joe uh, Sigma 6. <laughs> I forgot for a second. It's got these little buttons up here, green, blue, and red. But uh, I thought he was pretty awesome. So I picked him up. You know, anything G.I. Joe, I usually gravitate towards. So I got him as well. All right, guys. Well, hey, you know what? We've got a few vintage scores in the books today. So maybe we'll get some more. Maybe it'll be a great day for vintage. So let's head on over to the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, we're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? 
Hopefully you've got some vintage toys because I'm in the mood for some vintage toy scores. Gotta get my keys. All right, let's hope these shelves are just stocked full of 80s toys. <laughs> hey, you know what? We can dream, right? What we think about is what we bring about. Our innermost dominant thought brings about our outermost tangible reality. Let's see what they got. All right, well, what do we got? Oh, there's like nothing on these shelves. What's this down here? Looks fun. Uh, nothing really. It's just a little chintzy toy. Look at this guy. Well, he's missing a lot of his little spine thingies, I think. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, we got Pittsburgh Steeler checkers. Oh, that's fun. What does it look like inside? Oh, those like football helmets play against the Browns. Well, that's kind of cool. That's got to be old, right? Looks like a couple of the decals are missing. Maybe they're already on the helmets. What year is this from? Oh, it's from 1993. NFL checkers. Hey, that's, uh, that's my team right there. I kind of, sort of want to get it, but it's missing. It only has six Browns helmets and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Steelers helmets. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I think you need like 17. Oh, no, no, checkers go diagonal. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you need 12 checkers. I got eight Steelers and six Browns. That's the only thing. It's uh, missing a lot of pieces. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. I'll think about it. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. All right, guys. Well, we just got busted. Yeah, if the, uh, if the game were complete, I would have I would have got it. You know, that's one thing. That's one thing I won't buy that's like incomplete is games. Because how are you supposed to play games if you don't have all the pieces, you know? Toys, you can still play with toys and they don't have all the pieces, but not games. So, all right, well, up next, let's go hit up Thrift Shitty, baby. All right, we're here at the infamous Thrift City, home of the world famous glass case. The glass case that has nothing in it, like all the time. <laughs> When's the last time I scored anything cool out of that glass case? It's been a while, but hey, you know what? Maybe our luck will change today. So let's head in here and see if we can get to get to scavenging and find some vintage toys to bring home with us today. All right, let's see, what do we got? Anything good? This guy's still here. Hey, check it out. It's our boy Buzz. Buzz is a staple of the thrift store. In fact, it's not a thrift store unless it has a Buzz Lightyear. What are these? Little ninja guys. Fun, it says fun toys. Big dream fun toys. Like a little rubber chicken. Uh, what is that? Looks like it could be some sort of... Oh yeah, it's a Batmobile of some sort. What do we got down here? We got a Thanos. It probably goes to some sort of game or playset or something like that. I'll check out this car. Hmm, anything else? Got this little flying saucer. I'll check out this Hulk. I haven't seen this one in a while. I used to see this when I first started thrifting. I look how the dog chewed off. <laughs> when I started first started thrifting in thrift stores, I used to see this dude all the time. It's pretty cool, but I haven't seen him in a while. What's this? A movie game for anyone who has ever seen a movie. <laughs> hey, that would be me. The Blockbuster home video game. Oh, it's all coming apart. That sucks. All right, kids, you know what time it is. It's time to check the glass case. Oh, look at this. We got a Pillsbury Doughboy, like Beanie Baby. He's only 99 cents. I think my, my brother has one of these. His name's James. 
but I think he was wanting another one. So, Jake, if you're watching, I'm gonna pick this up for you, man. All right, well, what do we got? Oh, we still got those glasses from last week, the Snow White plates. We got these dolls, some die cast. But nothing good. All right, well, we picked up the Doughboy for 99 cents. So my brother's other Doughboy has, his name is James. And he's actually, a, a James is a World War I veteran. And uh, he actually has like a little wheelchair that he like sits in and rides around in because I guess war injuries or something like that. But anyway, let's go hit up old Thrifty Pants on the other side of town here on uh, Mill Street Thrift Giant and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang. We're at Thrift Giant, Louisville off of Main Street. And uh, I haven't found a whole lot in here lately. <laughs> but again, you know, it's always worth checking. Gotta check all the time, every trip, just in case that epic vintage score is sitting in here. Let's see what they got. What's that over there? There's some sort of a, uh, that looks like a small soldier's soldier. Hmm, I might ask to take a look at that box. Oh, check it out. They got some movies playing in here today. That's cool. Lots of TVs for sale. Oh yeah, look at this big guy. Oh, I was all zoomed in on him. <laughs> yeah, check him out. Yeah. Check him out. I used to find him in thrift stores all the time too. I've only seen him like twice this probably in the last year and I saw him really not too long ago. But uh, yeah, he's a, I think he's Fisher Price. Yeah. I think he goes to that castle place that I have. Oh, check out this guy. Oh, he's missing a, missing a hand. I wonder if his mouth opens. Oh yeah, he's got some articulation in his mouth. That's pretty cool. And what's this? Encanto, Mi Familia figurine set. Oh, that's cute. Six bucks for that. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy Buzz. This one's kind of beat up a little bit. And we got this Pirate's Curse monster truck some sort of racer pit stop series oh, yeah. he is all right so it's a toy soldier some teenage mutant ninja turtles He's missing a hat. guys we got busted box wasn't worth it the uh the toy soldier i actually have that guy already so wasn't too concerned about getting him but uh yeah it's just a lot of junk in there i mean they had a wrestler in there with no head on him so all right well up next final destination the goody wheel let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got all right we're here we're at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? I hope you got some vintage toys that I can finish strong with. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. What do we got today? Oh, it's a neat little house. That'd be good for like Smurfs or something. What else do we got? Bins are looking kind of weak. It's made out of plastic. It's not even die cast. Anything in Plushville? Oh, look at this giant SpongeBob. It's like a rabbit. <laughs> His legs have like wire in them too. He's real, real solid legs. 
it's probably worth like a hundred bucks or something and I'm gonna pass on it <laughs> let's see what else do we got mm, not seeing anything guys looks like we got a hungry hungry hippos game well guys we got busted busted at our final destination but you know kind of now I feel bad because like we really didn't score a whole lot today Carson was over here yesterday he probably cleaned out the whole town that's probably why we didn't find nothing really got a couple of cool scores in the very beginning but I kind of feel bad that like we didn't get something like epic so <laughs> let's go where we know vintage toys are and that is comics cards and games so there's collectibles cards and games which is mainly the game and card store that we go to quite a bit like on these little adventures that we that we do <laughs> uh, but there's another place down the street called comics cards and games and it's been a while since I've been there so I know they've got lots of vintage toys in their back room so let's go over there and see if we can get a deal on something all right guys so <laughs> I was wrong I always get the names of these places wrong it's comics cards and toys not comics cards and games so collectibles cards and games and comics cards and toys those are the two stores on this side of town. They're open, which is good. Let's head in here and rummage through some of their vintage toys and see if we can bring home a little something, something. Yeah, check out these pops. Those are cool. I'm not a big pop fan, but those are pretty cool. I like, I like the little backdrops they got on them. Oh, that Venom's awesome. Oh, check out this blow up Spider-Man. I love that. Check these out. I actually found that dragon in a thrift store. I didn't know that was a McFarlane. That is cool. Look at that one. Oh, look at this guy over here. There's all kinds of dragons. So if you're in the DFW area and you're into these McFarlane dragons, they got a ton of them over here. Look at this guy. Let's see if we can get the glare off him. Hard to... Yeah, that's about as good as we're going to get, gang. Sorry about the glare. Oh, there we go. There we go. Check that dude out. Terrible at this, all right. But anyway, you get the point. Look at that one. Wow, those dragons are cool, man. Super cool. Got a Blu ray DVD with a Venom figure. Oh, check it out, Furbies. Look at these little guys. Living Dead. I like that Howdy Doody. And we got this thing. And it went to. Oh, I see it's three. Actually, fifteen bucks. I thought maybe they, I thought maybe they had this sticker. You get three for ten or something like that. This has got to be an older one, right? Yeah, 1994. Oh, look at this Spider-Man. It even has like a little pin or something like that. That's cool. Oh, here's some uh, Lucy's over here. Silver Surfer. Yeah, it sure is. I have um, had this, but uh, my Silver Surfer was like missing an arm. Seven bucks. Yeah, I think we'll pick this up today. Yeah, we got some Flintstones, Mickey D toys. Here's a big 
package of Flintstones back here. Check those out. And we got a little Bam Bam. Oh, he's actually a wind-up toy. Wilma. One walker leg broke, but still works. And we got some peanuts. All kinds of fun stuff here. There's some Pez dispensers. Oh, I got this Mickey Mouse. I found him in a thrift store. This is the Disney section down here. G.I. Joe over here, some G.I. Jane. Oh, yeah, look at that. Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny in the game. We got a Superman comic over here. Captain America comic with the cassette tape. That's cool. Car. Yeah. Some more dragons over here. Oh, <laughs> I thought that had the mummy in it. Oh, look at this Cygor. That's a badass. Oh, we got some more dragons. We got some TMNT here. These. Those are so cool. Oh, I remember when that was in stores. Yeah. That is awesome. I got this life size Spider Man over here, too. All right, well, now I have a complete Silver Surfer to go with that big 12 inch silver surfer I found at Thrift Giant like a couple weeks back. Let's get in the car and do a little show and tell. Nice, check him out. Man, I love chromed out figures. I love how they shine. It's one of the reasons I love the Silver Hawks line so much. But man, that is super cool. I got him for $7. I mean, I think that's about what he's worth. But now I have a complete one. Cause like I said, the one I had, he was like, missing an arm or missing a leg or something like that so it'll look really nice next to my big 12 inch silver surfer all right gang well that's it we're gonna call it a day we ended the ended the show with something cool silver surfer so riding the cosmos baby you can ride the cosmos with cosmic superman but or not superman <laughs> cosmic spider-man Spider-Man. Anyway, hey, I hope you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you. If you are, do me a favor, smash the like button. It helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 600, almost 700 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.